Hi, I'm Jacob Hornberger, President of the Future of Freedom Foundation. With the Iowa caucuses in the New Hampshire primary behind us, where blacks have about 1 to 3 percent of the population, the candidates are now headed to South Carolina, where the population is about 27 percent African American. And the Democratic candidates, Sanders and, and Clinton, are both vying for the African American vote. It would be interesting to see what would happen if the news media would challenge them on their support of two of the most racist government programs you'd ever find, along with the conservatives, the Republicans, who favor these government programs as well. And I'm referring to the drug war and the minimum wage. The drug war, sure, it falls on most everybody in society. There's hardly a family that hasn't been affected by it. But we all know that it falls disproportionately on blacks. Uh, if you look at the incarceration rates, uh, it's blacks that are paying the highest price. In that sense, the consequences of this government program, uh, it is really a racist government program. And then you've got the minimum wage, which locks out of the labor market everyone whose labor is valued at less than the artificial minimum. That means black teenagers. They're locked out of the labor market on a permanent, chronic basis. And then, of course, many of them are then lured into the drug trade as a result of the exorbitant black market prices that the drug war brings. Now, we all know that the Republican candidates aren't any better, but it'll be interesting to see how these Democratic Party candidates sell this, these, their positions to African Americans, because the natural question for blacks would be, with friends like you, who needs enemies?